circle of radius radius 50 mm 50 mm okay so i'm going to draw the side of a circle of radius 50 mm so earlier we solved the same took the same circle and we have drawn the involute now i'm going to draw the cycloid so let me recollect cycloid is to have any point on the circumference of the circle as the circle starts rolling without slipping that is very very important without slipping path traced by the point is called a cycloid okay yes. so if the radius is 50 mm circumference is how much circumference is 314.2 mm okay or we'll keep 314 mm keep 314 Yeah, got it. So two pi r using that I have drawn. Right. So these are the given data. So what do you do? Draw a circle, center radius. Draw a circle of radius 50 mm, 50 mm, something like this. Okay. I'll slightly pull this circle. Okay. So what I have done? I have drawn a circle of radius. 50 mm, 50 mm, fine. So now I need to divide the circle into eight equal parts. Divide the circle into eight equal parts. Yes. What command you will use for dividing the circle into eight equal parts? Divide. divide. No array, polar array. Okay. Go to line. First you draw the radius. Then you select, select polar array, select the center. And here you change it into eight, change it into eight. Okay, so this is how you need to do. We number it for circle. Then I am going to give some name here. So I am going to give the center as O. Then I am going to take this as my A. Then capital letter A. This will be my B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay. Even you can give numbers. Okay, it's all your convenience. So I have divided the circle. I have given this a name O for the center. Okay. Then O A O B. Like that, I have named everything. Got it? What you do? You go to line command. From here, draw a line. Draw a line. So the length of this line that will be equal to circumference three one four. Three one four. Yes, three one four. Okay. Next, what you do? You draw a line here such that it is equal to draw a vertical line. Which are it is equal to the diameter of the circle. Diameter is 100 mm. Then you make a box like this. You make a box like this. Okay. So the length. Let me do the length. The length of this line is equal to the circumference, and I will put a radius. Radius of the circle is. Fifty mm. The final diagram, please always remember to write all dimensions are in mm. Okay, and your registration number. That is very important. Okay. So after that, I have drawn a line such that it is equal to the circumference. Then I have constructed a vertical line equal to the diameter. Then one more line such that it is equal to the circumference. Right. Next, what you do? So draw a line from B, from B passing through H, connecting this end. Okay. Similarly, you draw a line from C. Already I have a line from C G. So from here I am drawing a line. From here I am drawing a line. So repeat the same for B. Okay. From B. C and D are horizontal lines parallel to 
circles, circumference. Okay. Is it clear till now? No one having any doubt? Okay. No doubts. Okay, fine. So the next step is either you can do this in two ways. Either you can divide divide this line, divide this line into eight equal parts. Either you can divide this line into eight equal parts and you draw vertical lines like this from all these points. This is one way. This is one way where you can do it. What is the other way? You can use offset command. Offset. Yes, you can use offset. Let me delete this. Type offset. So I'll ask for the distance. What will be the distance? 314 divided by 8. Correct. 314 divided by 8. 39.25. 39.25. So you select this line. Okay, I think. Uh, Sorry. You need to draw one more line on top of it. Then you try off offset. So select 30. Yeah, 39.3 is given. Press enter and you select this line. Okay, so it is coming offset. Any one method you follow. Whichever is easy for you, you can follow that. Okay, so now I have drawn it. Put on all the lines. Yes, so far it is clear. So you are drawing a circle, constructing a rectangle box, drawing some uh, <coughs> parallel lines, okay, parallel to the circumference. Then you are drawing vertical lines. You are splitting the circumference into eight equal parts. And you are drawing vertical lines. Okay, so this is the procedure. Is it clear to all? No one having any doubts? Now? Till now? Okay. So you go to point command and you specify point here. Okay, so this is the center. This is the center. The section of the center with this vertical line, you put points. Okay, one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. You put eight points. Okay. We'll give some names so that it is easily understood. We'll take this as my line number one. Then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. OK, so these are number lines 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, up to 8. So this line intersecting with the center will get. So you see this is center O. So this will be my O1. This will be my O2. This will be my O3. And it goes on. OK, O4. O5. O six, O seven, O eight. Total we have eight centers. Total we have eight centers. Yes, please tell me. Still now, anyone having any doubts? This next step is a little bit hard to follow. Is it clear? I will repeat everything one time. Please carefully observe. Carefully observe. First step. I made a circle. I made a circle of radius 50 mm. Then I divided the circle into eight equal parts. Eight equal parts. First step. Next, from A, I drew a line. I drew a line of length 134 mm. 134 mm. Then I have drawn a vertical line equal to the diameter. Then I connected this with the circle. Okay, same length 314 mm. After that, starting from B, I have drawn a horizontal line, this one. Also from C, I have drawn a horizontal line. Also from D, I have drawn a horizontal line. 
Later I used offset command. So 314 divided by 8. That is the offset distance. You can check here. 314 divided by 8. Approximately 39.25. OK, that I used to offset command. Before using offset command, please draw one more line here. One more line. Only you can use offset. OK, please remember that. So I have drawn eight lines using offset command. Got it? Yes, sir. So this is what I have done so far. And I marked, I gave name for these lines. I got eight centers. Eight centers. Okay. Please listen. Now carefully, this step you all will get confused. All will get confused. Go to circle center radius. Center radius. From the center, draw a circle of radius. Same 50 mm. Same 50 mm. So like the circle and change the color. Change the color. Okay. Change the color. Now tell me where this circle is intersecting the line. The line passing from A. There it is intersecting. From the circle, where this is intersecting this line. Which line, sir? Radius, sir. This one, circumference. I have selected no this line. This line intersecting with this circle. Where it is intersecting on point A. Am I correct? Point yes, A. Yes, sir. Yeah. So type point. You put a point over here. Put a point over here. Got it? Now, this is the initial point. This is the initial. You change the color of this point. You change the color of. I will give. Yes, fine. Green color will. Give. Yeah, so when the circle before start rolling, this is the point I am going to focus. This is the point I am going to focus. Now imagine the circle is rolling and it is going to this position. This position, O1, O1. Okay, now what will happen to this point? This point will move and it will come over here. Okay, as you change the center of the circle from one center to the other, you change the line also. Earlier you are at the bottom most line. Now you come to the next line. This line. The intersection of the circle with this line. To put a point. A point. Over here. To change the color to green color. So that it is more evident. Understood students? So initially over here. Before start rolling over here. OK, I assume this is the point I'm going to trace. OK, I'm going to trace the intersection of this line and the circle. I made a point. Then the circle started rolling. Imagine OK, circle started rolling and it is reaching the center O1. Now the new position is here. Similarly, you push the circle here. Which line you will consider the third line, the third line. So put a point over here. The point over. Here. Understood? As you change the center, as you change the center, you increment the lines. You increment the line. So now I am going to O3. Where you will put the point? Where you will put the point? Here on this side. You see? Initially, I selected this line, second line, third line, then fourth line. A point over here. And finally, I change the circle over here. So, where it is touching? They are exactly touching the top. It's exactly touching the top. Where you put a point. Where you put a point and change the color. Change the color. Okay, so now I will show. So as the circle starts rolling, so it will reach this point. It will switch on R. 
the, the circle starts rolling. First, it will come to this point. Then still you move. It is reaching the second point. I, I hope you all can see. Then third point. Then finally, it is coming to the fourth point. Okay. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you type the line? Type the line. Connect all these points. You can't. Oh, sorry, I can't. Okay, so we have drawn this line. The remaining half, you no need to draw. Just select it and mirror it. Okay, you just select and mirror it so that we get the remaining spline. Okay. So this is how we are drawing the cycloid of a circuit. Cycloid of a circuit. Students, is it clear? No any doubts? Do you want me to repeat? Sir, from rolling, sir. Yeah, from rolling. Okay. So I will repeat one more time. Please carefully listen. As I told earlier, the cycloids will be a little bit uh, difficult to follow. Uh, delete all this green color points. Okay. Delete. Even this one I will delete. Okay, this one. I hope still this you all will be understanding. Yes. Yeah. What you do? Go to circle center radius. So here the center, uh, the radius of the circle will remain constant. Okay. So draw a circle something from here to here. Okay. So I have drawn a circle on top of this circle. Go to layer, change the color, change the color. Okay, fine. Now, what do you need to do? You need to check where the circle is intersecting the first layer. Okay, you imagine there are four lines. One, two, three, four, five lines are there. Five lines are there. Okay. So when initially it is at O, you check where it is intersecting, where it is intersecting the first layer. It is intersecting exactly at A. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So type point. A point over here. Select the point and change the color just to differentiate. Okay. That's all. Now you pick up this line. You shift the center to O1. See what I'm doing? I'm changing from one center to the other. Similar way, here we, we checked the intersection at the bottom line. Now you move on to the next line. Move on to the next line. So it is intersecting over here. Over here. Can you see this line and this, this circle? It is intersecting over there. You put a point over there. Got it? Can you follow it? Okay. Yes or no? Yes, sir. What about others? Only one girl is answering. Yes, okay. Next, to repeat the same procedure. You shift the circle to the next to center. Okay, next to center. So when the, the uh, idea is when the circle starts rolling, this point will move along this path. Move along this path. Okay. So uh, you are at the third center. This is the third line. Okay. So intersection, you put a point. Intersection, put a point. Okay. Yes. Then, so similarly, change the color. Then you go to three. So you find the intersection of the circle and the line. So type a point, and you put a point over here. Okay. Select the circle point and change the color. 
and finally go to O4. So we, we need to switch the line point. Type the point and you put a point over. It. Okay. It is fine you put uh, one half because we can do the remaining half. If you are going in manual drawing, once again you need to move the circle here you to put a point here like that it goes up. Okay. AutoCAD that is not required. Yeah, that is not required. Okay. So put a point. Okay. And I hope now it is clear. Yes, type, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's clear. Thank you, sir. If you type spline, just join it. That's all. Students, you need to do regular practice to understand this. Yeah, so do more practice, you can get. Yes, I have drawn one half. Select it, click mirror, and draw the remaining half. Okay. Okay, erase all subject. No. Select these lines, change the color, increase the thickness. That's all. Okay. So we have successfully completed the cyclones and envelope. So far, we have completed two experiments. So tomorrow,